Hi everyone, USCIS has officially announced that they will be reinstating the public charge rule. In this video, I'm going to give you the important details that you need to know. I'm also going to give you an update on some consulates and embassies that are resuming routine visa services. So stick around. Hi everyone, if this is your first time here, my name is Michael Ashuri and I'm a US immigration lawyer based in Los Angeles, California. At my law firm, we regularly post videos to keep you up to date with what's happening in immigration. So if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button now. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so YouTube knows to share it with a wider audience. So let's get started. In this video, I'm gonna give you some updates regarding the public charge rule because USCIS has officially announced that they will be reinstating the public charge rule going forward. I'm also gonna give you an update on some consulates and embassies that have resumed routine visa services and that will resume routine visa services in the near future. So let's get started. On September 22nd, USCIS officially announced that the public charge rule is officially reinstated. So what is the public charge rule? The public charge rule is basically a wealth test where immigration officials can weigh various factors, including your employment history and your previous use of public benefits to determine whether you will be a public charge, whether you will be somebody that will be going on government benefits such as welfare or other such things. And based on that risk of being a public charge, immigration officials can potentially deny your case for immigration benefits. That's basically a general overview of what the public charge rule is. Now, the public charge rule was implemented in 2019. And since its implementation, it has faced many lawsuits. Based on one of the lawsuits that was filed against the public charge rule, an injunction was issued on July 29th, 2020, which temporarily suspended the public charge rule. However, recently on September 11th, 2020, that injunction was completely overturned. And on September 22nd, 2020, just a few days ago, USCIS officially announced that it will reinstate the public charge rule for all relevant applications and petitions that were filed since February 24th, 2020, including pending applications. So now I want to explain what that means. There are basically three important points that I want to share with you. The first important point that I want to share is that if you're planning on filing an immigration case and your case is within the scope of the public charge rule, meaning that your case is subject to the public charge rule, then when you file your case, you must include the relevant public charge documentation including the appropriate form and evidence with your case. The second important point that I want to share with you is that even if you already filed your case, USCIS may still apply the public charge rule to your case retroactively. So if your case was filed on or after February 24th, 2020, and your case is subject to the public charge rule and your case is still pending, then USCIS will be applying the public charge rule to your case. So as we talked about a little bit earlier in this video, there was a period of time between July and September where the public charge rule was temporarily suspended based on an injunction. So even if you filed your case, during that time where the public charge rule was suspended by the injunction, USCIS will still apply the public charge rule to your case, again, if it was filed on or after February 24th, 2020, if the case is subject to the public charge rule, and if the case is still pending. Those are the three conditions that need to be met. If those three conditions are met, USCIS will still apply the public charge rule to your case. So if you didn't include the proper public charge 
documentation, then USCIS will likely issue you a request for additional evidence. It's called an RFV to get the public charge documentation for your case. The third important point that I want to mention is that if your case was approved, USCIS will not be going back to re-adjudicate your case. So again, just to recap what we covered, USCIS has officially reinstated the public charge rule and it will be in place for all cases going forward that are subject to the public charge rule and all cases that are still pending that have been filed since February 24th that are subject to the public charge rule. Now let's talk about consulates and embassies. This is still a question that a lot of people want to know about. So I want to provide you guys with an update. As you know, since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, consulates and embassies, for the most part, have suspended routine visa services. It's important to note that many consulates and embassies are still open for emergency visa appointments, but for the most part, routine visa services have been suspended. Well, I have some updates on consulates that are currently open for routine visa services. So I wanna share those with you now. We have received updates that the consulates in London, Paris, and Mexico City are now open for routine visa services. So this is really great news. We've also received news that the consulates in Morocco and Argentina will be resuming routine visa services in the near future. As for other consulates and embassies, we're continuing to monitor for any updates. And as a basic understanding of how the consulates and embassies are choosing to reopen, they're basically opening based on local conditions. As the locations become safe to reopen, they're resuming more and more services. So again, we have some good news regarding the consulates in London, Mexico City, and Paris, as they have now resumed more routine visa services. And we're gonna to continue to monitor developments so that we can provide you with updates. So again, in this video, we talked about the public charge rule being reinstated, and we talked about some more consulates that have started to resume routine visa services. I hope you guys like this video. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, feel free to share this video with them. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in.